What's up guys, welcome back to Magnet Fishing. Uh, today we are back down here at our railroad spot. As you can see behind me. Here's the bridge of the old L&N line that runs through Kimberly, Alabama. Uh, we believe it went out of service in 1970s and I didn't really put in the last video that I uploaded uh, the stuff that we actually found that's really, really old. Uh, so if we take a look right here, if any of you know about the uh, link and pin deal they had it was I forgot I think it was outlawed in the, like 1901 or here is one of the uh, one of the uh, link and pins or here's one of the broken links you can see right here and I'll show you pictures of what it's really supposed to look like this one is broke we actually have a pin that's almost completely intact and I have a link that has a piece of it broke where uh, in the corner so it's almost a full piece it's missing a little bit uh, these were outlawed i think because one main the danger and then two they were known for breaking and causing derailment sorry about the lie i don't know what's going on we're going to see if we can find anything else in our honey hole right here this one is one little spot right here right right there is where we keep finding all this stuff so we're going to keep on throwing our magnets and see what else we can find and uh stick around and see if we find something crazy <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh no, it came off. It moved too. Yeah, there's something large right here too. I got a piece of something. Yeah. I've been finding those little square things. Yeah. I got it right now. Don't come off. I don't know what that is. I think they call them fisher plates? No, that's too thick. I don't know what that is. What is that? You see that thing? What is that? <laughs> no. Think is this? No way! That's another. That's another link. That's another link. Come here. <gasps> and it's intact. No way! It's a link and it's intact. Holy crap! That's awesome. Wow. That's crazy. That's what I was looking for. Holy crap. Wow. That's awesome. Another railroad spike. Looks like that might be a piece to a pin. Not sure though, but so they're pretty known for breaking either the links or the pin breaking, causing problems. Not sure though. Got something else large. An old screw spike. Or a really big bolt or something. You barely still see the threads on them. No idea. But it's magnetic underneath all that crap. Yeah, whatever that is, is big. I think it's surrounded in concrete though. Whatever it is, it's surrounded in 
I think I know what that is. Ah. That right there, my friends, appears to be possibly an old brake shoe. Oh man, that thing's huge heavy. Yeah, that's probably the one I just threw. Oh, okay. What is that? Is that Salisbury? Is that what that says? Yeah, it's got a number on it. Yeah. 12TO.81. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Can figure out what the hell that is. It almost looks like a. I don't know. It definitely holds some type of pipe, I believe. That's yeah. what it looks like. It holds some type of pipe, but. Keep it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, guys. I'm back at home editing this video, and I am doing some research into the Lincoln pin. Um, so here's a link that we found that was actually in touch. I need to look for this right here. It's probably it's probably gone more than likely, but I'm at least going to look for it. And here's the pin that we found, and I believe it's actually all the way intact. I'm not positive, but we haven't found none of these yet. Only this one right here. And uh, here's another picture of a link that we found. Both of them, both of them look just like this. Anyways, so scrolling down, it says right here that uh, these things were being obsoleted between 1870 and 1885, so they're pretty old. We're just going to assume that these Lincoln pins are definitely over 100 years old. But I just figured some of you guys might be interested in actually seeing, you know, 1870, 1885 is when they were, when they were done. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure and subscribe, man. It's a lot of time and effort in this, and it costs you guys nothing. Hit the like button. I'll be posting often, probably every week. I want to see the stuff that y'all are finding magnet fishing. So, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Give me a week or so. I'll have another video up, and talk to you soon.